Studio arrangement party. Do, 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 do. Oh. For some reason it says no one's on. <clears throat> Nobody's in the party yet. Oh, no, there's 21 people in the party. A lot of people in the party. Yeah, man. What's going on, peeps? Just in this studio with Joel. We are arranging our performance for the MMVAs. Much Music Video Awards. I have no shirt on. I'm going to put a shirt on because it's weird. I don't want to be naked guy. What's up, Joel? Yo. Oh, wow. They got like flying graphics going on this shit now. We be mobbing, man. 73 mofos up in here. Oh, that's fast. Whoa. It's flying. How's everybody doing? What's up, Amy? What's up, Joe? Um, we're in the studio. We're going to do some recording, so we're not going to be like super interactive for at points, but we will come back and talk to you guys. But um, we're arranging our show, me and Joel here. We are putting together a custom version of Rule the World. Uh, we're going to be performing at the MMVAs, the Much Music Video Awards. It's like it's like the VMAs, but Canadian style. And it's a big deal down here. It's actually a big deal anyway this year. They got like, man, who else? Who's playing this year? Like Ed Sheeran's playing. Ed Sheeran's hosting the show. We got like Jason Derulo's playing. We got like Selena Gomez. All these celebs are going to be Here, there. Google it. It's going to be crazy. I don't know on your Wi-Fi, dude. Okay, yeah, well, let me slide it oh, What on. is this? There's like a little thing we can put the phone in. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, wait, this is... I don't know if the new phones will fit in there. No, that's it. You got the plus? Let's see here. Oh, it's tight. Oh, keep streaming, yeah. Good. Pop it right here? I'll bring it. Um, you know what? We'll put it right over here. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna clip this phone up on this mic stand. We're just in the studio if you wanna check check it out here, hold on. Oh no. It's like sideways. How does this work? Sorry guys, one sec. Is your portrait uh locked? Oh you gotta take this out and put it in sideways. Got it. Sorry y'all. Really annoying, I know. Sorry. Alright, let's see if I can have this up there. Almost there. Almost there. Where's everybody at? Where are you from? Tell me where you're from. Tell me where you're calling in from. Is it warm there? That's all that matters. This fucking thing won't tighten. There we go. Alright, look, there's my, there's, oh, that's a good shot. So, folks? So, we're working on some uh, theremin ideas because um, if any of you joined the stream the other night, we got a brand new white theremin and it's fucking amazing. Um, also, we're worked in, we've worked in a didgeridoo part that uh, Beard Guy's gonna do. Um, we have an arrangement for that, and we're just uh, gonna track some guitar right now because we need to figure out how we're gonna get back out of this like little craziness that we're adding to the song. So, oh, yeah. what's everyone saying? Winnipeg, what's up? New Zealand in the house. I love New Zealand. Is Winnipeg yeah. finally like a bit warm? Is the eight month winter kind of winding down? It's probably still got some slush. Yeah. Wasn't there a snowstorm in like uh, East Coast like two weeks ago? Alright, so let's get that. You can punch uh, out a bow. Whatever. Can you play it from the um, play it from the beginning of the thing? From time oh, the DJ or the whole thing? Just the whole thing. Minus the
learn that, right? <laughs> that sounds like cleaner though. Like, like play that back. I was dragging that. Play more? Okay, Later. track this one. For it. <laughs> Play that back from the end there, because I think with the uh, so. Yeah, I think you should go to that for that first time too, man. Because we're like we're we're hanging out in it the second time. First time for both just feel it. Let's try. So I can squeal in that um, E. We got both in one part, we can split it up. Yeah, get both in there. Balti, you can play the E you off. Do you want to punch that riff or do you think we'll Let me try it with the E. Yeah. Second time. Okay, keep that, playlist it, and let me try the. Um... Second time though, it makes it it's more like opening. Yeah. You haven't heard it yet. Yeah. It, 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 Keep in mind though, we're also like the whole section. We're on. We're it's literally, literally just gonna be that E the whole time up until then. So it might be time to like, go through some of that. I could, I could go both. Yeah. That's kind of cheesy though. Let's just get the clean chunk chunks one time, yeah. doubled, and yeah, then we'll worry about there. which what squeals we're gonna play. Send it off the bounty. Just chunk, no uh, scratching. In case any of you guys wondering what we're doing in the jam room, because that can be really loud and annoying sometimes. Just the, just the chunks. Yeah. <laughs> Before we move to the next one, let me just uh, put in the... the Yeah, 
Give me a really high harmonic. Cool. You got last one. Nice. Are you going to the time? I'll do it through so I can have the... What's everybody saying? It's so small, I can't see. We didn't freeze. We're here. Sweet, too. Hello from Metro Detroit. Thanks for the retweets and the likes, guys. Appreciate it. Greetings from Greece, wow. Nobody tell Beer Guy what to do. He just knows. We never tell Beer Guy what to do. He does know. Poland in the house. Some lights on in here. When is the MMDAs? MMBAs are on June 21st, uh, next Sunday, not this Sunday, coming up next Sunday. Um, yeah, we're going big, or we're going home. We're like, we're going big, then we're going home. We got fire, we got smoke, we got dancers, we got colored dancers, we got lots of stuff. It's gonna be nut bar. But before that, we're going to New York to play the Today Show and a couple other TV shows. Yeah, uh, not sure what, what it is. The Good Day New York, or Good Day New York, or something like that. Yeah. Oh yes, U.S. Mobbing. Thanks for mobbing us, guys. Uh, smart process. Yeah, it is a good process. We've been doing this for a long time, and we figured out the best way to work with each other. This is it. It's awesome. Tune in with the miss. Uh, it's Johnny and Joel from Walk Off the Earth. We're in the studio. We're arranging our um, performance for the MMBAs on Sunday. It's the Much Music Video Awards. It's like the MTV of Canada. We're nominated for uh, some uh, for an award for our video for post production for Rule the World. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'm glad. I'm actually stoked that we got nominated for that because the post production on that video was like like a hundred hours. It was so many hours. So it's good to get recognition for little things like that that most people don't really uh, um, know. Um, yeah. So we, okay. What do we got? We got to get that low. Let's get that low chuggy at the end. Oh, I got to do a double of that. Yeah. The whole thing. Right? Yeah, oh, we got a lot to double. To double. It's just this me, last bit. Yeah, let me do the whole thing again. One time through. Yeah. One more? 
That's good. And then, uh, one more of these. Yeah, we gotta get that one way down. Alright? Yeah, we gotta get that one to the left. Probably cool if one spills and one doesn't. Right? Yeah. One more. Cool. Let's try those together. Cool. We gotta move on from this one. Throw that in. Oh, thanks. I love you too. I can't see your name from here. It's too far. It's me, Yale. What's up? How's it going, girl? Let's see if I get. Uh, oh, thank, oh, all the likes. Thank you. You're the best. Baltimore. We're going to get into some um, some theremin ideas in a second. What's up, Neve? How's it going, buddy? Oh, yeah, I'm going to send you that address. Um, Today, tonight, so you can send me some stuff. It is, it is a PRS guitar. Uh, it's my studio guitar. It's the, um, those things, they scream. They're amazing for studio work. We don't play them live because they're too expensive. <laughs> we don't have that kind of money. Never satisfied, of course. What acoustic chords do you guys usually use for this song? We tune, uh, we play it four, um, four semitones lower than the original on the album. I think we played in um, we play it in E minor. Yeah, yeah, played in E minor. Uh, here's something that some of you music nerds might not know um, about our album. It's recorded in 432. Um, not your standard 440 tuning, which is uh, a little weird when people are trying to play. If you ever try to play uh, along with our songs, you're going to have some trouble because you have to tune your guitar to 432. Um, we, we, we found that it sounded better in that weird tuning. Um, there's two songs on the album that are tuned to 440, California Trees and uh, Home Will Go, but all the other songs are in 432, including Rule the World. So if you try to pick up your guitar and play to rule, rule the world, you're going to have a hell of a fucking time, man. It's not going to be easy because it's, it's not in your tuning of the 440. So that's a heads up if anyone wants to try to play to our songs. Joel is really good at air instruments. Air instruments, oh yeah. Boomerang. It's your six-year-old's favorite song. It's one of my favorites, too. Rule of the World is your current favorite song. It's Hannah HR. <clears throat> Thank you. Hey, G, we'd love to see you guys in New Zealand one day. Show you some Southern Hemisphere hospitality. That would be amazing. We, uh, we're, we're working on a, an Australian thing, and uh, if that's the case, then we're hopefully going to hop over. I know that you guys have a wicked festival. What's the New Zealand festival that we want to play? I don't know the New Zealand one. I know a lot of the Australian ones. There's like a massive New Zealand festival that Sarah played one year with her old band that's like, we need to go to. Free bird. <laughs> it's a toasty 80 today. 
Hamilton. You gonna go to Hess Hestival this weekend? Okay, let me see. Hold on. You guys did a spotlight us a spotlight on us on your internet station. Wow, I'm flattered. Thank you. Germany. Theremin. By the way, this is not just your average theremin. It's a theremini. It's going to be dope. All right, where we have it that? We're going to cut something together for the whole part, but you want to drop some theremin? Yeah, let's start messing with that because we can lay the bass in now. Like, I mean, I know the bass part, so I'm just playing bass, but I don't know if we need to lay it in. What do you think? The bass, B A S E or B A S S? B A S S. Ah. Yeah. I think uh, we should. The theremin, we yeah. should get creative right now. You know what? I was doing that weird thing before. It was just kind of like sending out to while you were. I'm still finding a beat at this time, man. Make a fool out of ourselves in front of the people. Why is it doing that? No. There's level. Press setup to begin. <laughs> Down for a sec. We're gonna have to calibrate it. Press setup to begin. Setup plus effect. Press setup to begin. Yeah, something's whack, man. Oh. Oh yeah, dude. Yes. Oh, I went too far. Set up and hold hand near volume antenna. And then erase some. Okay, good. Oh, it's going through, it's going through the angle right now. Good. You want it? Got yeah, a nice clip. We got enough power on it too, like that, though. Um, let's see effects on it. What's that note? What's that note? This is standard tuning, right? Is that an A? This is standard tuning right now? Yeah, standard. That note. E. No. That note. A. That's the A. A, right? So. That's your E. Yeah, so they're all in there. Right. The T is going right? No. Wow, it's so sensitive. Hard to get that for that's pretty. Way. Let's get 
Just my days, man. Okay, let me uh, just hit, hit me. Now we need to bring back the pitch that I had it at. That's why I originally had that uh, was trying that uh, that dizzy at F sharp. Why? Because you're check it out. You're in. Oh, you're on the E, dude. It's in F sharp now. Yeah, it's not gonna go over. It's not. It made more. It's in F sharp now. It was in E before, which doesn't make sense. I want to see something real quick. Try this one. Those are, those are in the same key. See what I mean? So you would have to go. But they're not going to go over each other. It's nice that they can, though, especially if we bring back together in that last part. But that doesn't work with the vocals. Like. So I'm saying, your scale right now, go down three on it. You're are you you're in A minor mode right now? I'm in A. You're in A. Yeah. So if you come down to Does that make sense then? Cause I, yeah, because I went down to F, did I not? I went down to F. Try going down to F. F sharp, F sharp. F sharp minor. Let me just run this so you can try it to it. Double check with the vocals on it. Yeah, that's it, man. Go. Can't get to that. The problem with this scale is the F only goes this high. Doesn't go up. The F is the Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah. That's it, that's it. It's sending a ton of information instead of one. Oh, we should go. Should we go stereo? We need a. Oh, you're in right. Yeah, I know. I left wasn't sending me anything. Try it though. It takes a second time to kick in. Go. All right. So good, man. Let's record it and play it back and see if that crack will happen. That was the first one. Could that was the low. The that was the A. Because this the scale definitely works. Versus. F sharp, right? So I dropped my my low down to this F sharp, meaning your F sharp minor should work. We're going from. Two. Yeah. 
Give me a little bit more. Sorry, I thought that was you. Can you more pre-roll? Just so I can get a vibe of like the, the song for a second. Coming on the chorus? Yeah, come on the chorus. <laughs> Thing is, most stuff that you can, that you have the option to go mono out of, it'll tell you on the LRR mono. Uh, this thing's meant to go stereo. Do you have? So let's go stereo. Then. Do you have a, a two quarter summer to mono? I don't think you need that. You just need two. You just need two. We uh, can't go into though. Yeah, you go in the back. Right here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's it. Let me hook up to. I'm like lacking patch cords. God yeah. damn it. Yeah, we need a second one. We have one patch cord in this whole studio. What's wrong with us? There's another one somewhere. I know. I know it. Uh, there's one downstairs. What up, folks? Did you pick up a guitar? Yeah, I did. I play some guitar. When you're when you're getting into music production, you need to know a little bit about a lot of instruments. I'll say that. So, if you're trying to get into production and recording your own stuff, your own sounds, borrow all your friends' instruments and dick around with them until you got enough chops, producers' chops, let's call it, enough facility to uh, to be able to record some nice parts in and cut some good stuff together. Um, what's up? What's up? Got it. We are we only gonna play Rule of the World? Yes, we're only gonna play Rule of the World, but we are adding a special, special part. That is my father who just joined the chat. What's up, Dad? Didn't know you had Twitter. How's it going, Dad? Oh, it's Joel. We're playing. We're on uh, the Today Show. We're gonna do. Um, we're gonna do Hold On too. No way. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We did two. We did two last year as well. We're gonna just use it as clips and stuff. What kind of crazy life are we living that we're about to play the Today Show for the second time? Not so. Five people went theremin. Oh man, that'd be crazy. One oh, person went theremin is crazy enough. Guess what? I came up with something the other day. Harmonized theremin, dude. We get two and we harmonize the shit out of them. How about that? Like this one over here? What? Phone's broken. Seeing us in Manchester, yes, we cannot wait to come to Europe in October. It's been a while, it's been over a year, for sure. So, we'll get there. Sarah's gotta have a little baby, get that done. We will be there. Come to Greece, oh man, please. We would love to play anywhere in Greece. Yeah, we got a lot of people up in here, awesome. What's up, everybody? How does the theremin work? Johnny's a theremin master, but from what I gather, this is all pitch, right? Pitch on this side, volume on this side? I found it. Is that correct? Good last one with the theremin. Um, 
Yeah, this is your yeah. volume control, this is your pitch control. Um, I don't know how it like, really works. I know it's really simple technology. It was invented in the 40s by some guy named like something Theremin, like a Russian dude. I should probably look into it more. So. Vladimir Theremin. You know what? I think that's his name actually, dude. Really? And his daughter, something like... I don't know her name, but she's like the greatest Theremin player of all time. She yeah, may have just movie. passed away recently. She's pretty, she's old, like she was like died in her 80s or something. Okay, let's hope this works. Okay, what's what's left? What's right? What's red? This is the left. Red's right. Let's set up the two track in there. Cool when you have the delay off because you can you can like wah stuff. Oh cool. What am I missing here? I got we're both going in the back. So it doesn't need a 48, does it? No. They're both going in. But yeah, you have to change the line. Usually it goes high Z automatic though, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see it's getting his mic right now. Oh, that's when I'm on his mic. Huh? Yeah. Ooh. No crackle. What? Bam. What? What? Go. That's why. It's so weird that it's a stereo instrument. Like, well, how would you? I guess for delay. For the, the effects. Yeah. Is it going stereo? Can you hear? Yeah. The delay is for sure stereo. Yeah? Can I record with no delay? Yeah. Do you have the distortion on right now? That's all that. Woo! Woo! I should go high, the octave higher than that. The climb, the two
get like kind of like. Can I get a bunch of bars? Do you want to just loop playlist this, or do you want to actually like? No, I, yeah, give it. Don't loop playlist. Just like go on, like, go on dead air land. Go on dead air land and and give me like probably like thirty six loops, and then we'll we'll get. It. We'll get her. Oh wow, 360 people. Thanks for joining us, guys. If you're just joining us, me and Joel in the studio, Walk Off the Earth, arranging our um, our song that we're going to play for uh, the people of Canada. Of Canada. The Much Music Video Awards on June 21st. We're arranging it so we can teach it uh, all the parts to the band. We have rehearsals next week, and we're going to learn their parts. It's going to be incredible. Not here, you got, like, Click on the picture. I don't know what that means. I love you so much. Oh, thank you. Uh, refer, refresh your stream, Leanne. Yes. Listen to Aaron. What's up, Aaron? How's it going? Hey. Sh hey. Hey. Did they fix it? What's up, Cheryl? How's it going? Alright. Okay. Just give me 32 bars. First four, do that before you like. You want to get in the second four, yeah, right? Yeah, it's only two bars, eight, eight bars, right?
More of the idea I had for sure. Yeah. Oh, man. Good call, P. Volko. P. Volko. So can you play uh show the playlist and uh
like the eight bar. Okay. Ah, oh, that means a lot, Bella. Thanks. What is that? That's a theremin. Uh, it's the only instrument in the world you can play without touching. Which I find interesting, personally. But it also sounds like a Moog keyboard. It's pretty cool. Um, nice socks. What kind of socks am I wearing? They're bicycles. Thanks for noticing. I like socks with designs on them. Good night. Um, we should get a mini soundboard and plug right into the phone. That's something that we've um, talked about actually with uh, Needles. He was telling us about it at the show. Um, uh, there's a couple different devices you can get. That's something we'll probably do. The MMBAs are on Kristen's birthday. That's cool. Happy birthday on the 21st. Oh, Needles is on here. Nice. What's up, buddy? If you're still here. We play. We had Bolt playing at my son's birthday, and Dad stood up and watched several of the videos. Loved them all. Well, that's good. Yes, have a great impact. Yeah, so Joel, like, um, yeah, like, oh, like, nice and dirty and low at first, right? You, you get the idea of kind of, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just find the best little clips, and then we'll, we'll uh, learn it. I brought my five year old daughter ukulele recorder, a Karina harmonica, because she was asking for. Oh, then you got cut off. Rule the world, baby. So you remind to meet you. I hope you come to the wheelchair section of the red carpet. I would love to do that. I'm come meet you. I will do my best. I'm not sure where that is, but we'll find it. Aaron. Aaron's hype. My three and five year olds watch your videos on YouTube. Say hi to them for me. Wow, there's 420 people here. 420 people. You're close, G. <laughs> it was close. July 31st, yeah. That's, yeah, Sarah's uh, July 31st, so it's going to be crazy. She's going to be rocking the stage on the 21st, which is very close. Hope Sarah doesn't deliver on the Today Show. Congrats on the expecting baby. Thank you, Scott, Jen, Scott or Jen. Oh yeah, there's like a new feature on Meerkat apparently. If I click on something, I can find. Oh, look at that! I can see people's actual name, actual names now. Charlotte, forgot, forget. What's up? Ross Tam, Kyle Johnson. Jordan Holler, something something, Jack Myers, so many people, awesome. So if you're just joining us, this is Johnny from Walk Off the Earth. We got Joe working away in the studio here. Yeah, we are arranging a performance for the, uh, our live performance for the MMVAs. It's how we do things usually when it comes to live performances and videos. Um, we'll come up with all the parts and then we'll send all the parts to everybody. They can learn their, learn their shit. Makes it much easier that way. For us, for this band anyway. So I'm just going back and reading comments here because I know I missed a bunch. I don't like leaving people hanging if I don't if I don't have to. How come I just see Johnny's eye? That's weird. 
Yep, that was a theremin, guys. Cool as a show. Slay it. I'm gonna go see the comment comments at the bottom here. I did not make the theremin, but there is um there's like kits that you can buy on the internet because they're pretty simple to make actually. You can just buy like some like electronic stuff. And uh yeah. Honestly though, it's really interesting instrument. You guys should just Google if you have another computer near you, Google Theremin. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Great show in Minneapolis. That show is insane. The fans of Minneapolis are intent, man. Like you it was like one of the first cities in the US for some reason that we like we really struck a chord with. And uh we always like sell out our shows there really fast. One time we played like we had to play two shows there because it sold out so fast. So we have a special place in our heart for that city, but we love all cities. Sorry to hear what happened in Vancouver. It was not representative of people of Vancouver. Um, that was didn't really happen in Vancouver. It happened in San Francisco. On uh, I, I believe you're talking about the uh, the United incident with Sarah getting kicked off a plane. <laughs> You might go to Brampton. That's going to be a fun show. Canada Day, man. Um, are we recording the session to share with bandmates or laying it down to rehearse? Um, I would say both. Uh, we're going to lay. We're we're changing the arrangement for the award show. We're adding a section, so we're we're kind of figuring out how long we want to make it and what parts we want to put in it, and then we will send the respective parts to anyone who we want to play them, which I believe right now is, uh, I'll probably be doing the theremin solo, but what we do, like, what we like to do is figure out the best solo possible, we'll record it, and then that way I can learn it exactly how I want to do it, because the theremin is not an easy instrument. You can hit a lot of, like, wrong notes, and if you don't, uh, are, uh, if you're not rehearsed, and me not being a theremin player full-time, I like to uh, figure out exactly how it's played, sit there in a room for like five hours and just learn it. Um, I, either Joel or Beard Guy are, is going to pick up the didgeridoo. We have this didgeridoo, but it's called like a something -y, something do. Beard Guy is really good at it. Joel can also play it. But we might like do this, we might augment it a bit, but we're like putting like this uh, mute thing in the, in the end of the didgeridoo, and it's going to make all like these weird sounds. It's pretty cool. There's so many limits. Or there's no limits when it comes to like making weird sounds out of instruments so that's what we like to do but yeah we are going to share it with the bandmates once we're done tonight can't wait to see you in leeds uk ah oh, uk man we can't wait to get there all the, all the shows in europe are going to be really good uk is wicked The video with three men and a woman sitting and singing was your band, correct? Um, I don't know. We have many videos where there's three men and a woman singing, so I'm not sure. If you can give me more on that, I can answer that question. Can we have a tour of the instrument cabinet? Oh, that's a great idea. Katie. You... This, uh... Yeah, this place is like just littered with instruments, like as you can see, and Georgie toys. Um, there's the massive guitar. How's that going, Joel? I need a. Uh, need a part? Well, well, no, I just need, need to lock my rip here. Oh, okay. But, um, that's the massive guitar. That's a really big guitar right there. I don't know if you have a perspective, but let me just show you a perspective here. Look. Hopefully this, oh, sorry. Ah, oh, it's really hard, here. You know what? I'll put a ukulele on the ground right there. And then, there's a big ass guitar, dude. See that? There's my clown horn. <clears throat> George, uh, little Giorgio is terrified of it. If you could go anywhere near it, um, it makes him very unhappy because I, I think I squeezed it once when he was young and it's really loud and annoying and uh, 
Suffice me to say, he hates it. All right, here's the instrument. instrument. Let's start off in Germany. It says, a torpedo booking and Gintermeister Award. Toughest bitch in rock and roll business, 2007, Sarah Sin Blackwood. She won that when she was touring with the Creep Show because she was the toughest bitch in rock and roll at the time. She was touring like 280 days a year, uh, working her ass off, and that was well deserved. Uh, let me see what else we got. I like to play like a guitar sometimes because I'm not really good at violin. Um, oh, let me show you guys something that's uh, pretty interesting. Um, our friends at Kala, Kala Ukulele sent us this. What, uh, marimba, right? Is it marimba? Marimba? Kalimba. Kalimba. I always get that mixed up. African thumb piano. So it's an African thumb piano, kalimba, but it's a ukulele, dude. Get the fuck out of there! Needs a little tune job, but... That is going to make its way into a Walk Off the Earth video in the very near future. I've been meaning to put that in something but so badly. A fan made us this, and it was someone from Europe. I can't remember her name right now. But she painted this ukulele, and look, it's got Sarah. She's got a surfboard, and look, look who's surfing. Who's that? I'm just out there surfing by myself. Love it, love it. I love fan gifts. Oh look, there's me. I guess. What else we got in here? We got um, these are my pan flutes. Sarah's actually learning the pan flute right now. I, I'm not very good at it, but I can I can hit some notes. Sarah's getting good. Uh, there's a little percussion corner. Uh, there's the the mouth harp, or some some like to call it the Jew harp, believe it or not. Uh, I'm not sure why. Seems a little weird, but it's definitely called that. I'm not making it up. Here is the uh, the infamous zipper tie that was in. Uh, the payphone video. There's a potato whistle. Um, this is another uh, instrument that a fan gave us from Italy. It's an Italian harp. Um, there's a Kiwi ukulele. There's a slide guitar, or a lap steel guitar. Some handbells. Coming very handy. If you the Royals video. You may have not. If you haven't seen the Royals video, go check that out. If you don't know who I am, I'm Johnny from Walk Off the Earth. What's up? Go to YouTube, check our shit out. Check this out. This is the drumstick from the Rude video. Um... Those things are awesome. They only play in one key. I'd like to get more, so I have more keys. So yeah, this is a uh, sound of percussion. A lot of it's in James's garage right now because we've been touring so much and there's like a ton of stuff over there. So I kind of have anxiety right now because all my instruments are like all over the place. Um, this is a tiny grand piano. It looks like it sounds better than it does, but We're going to make it sound good and put it in a video soon. Guitaron. The, the Mexican, or should I say? Um, Joel, what's this? The Italian uh, delight. The, the Italian go-to? Yeah. So that's some of our instruments. Um, we got They're all over the walls, everywhere. Oh, it's too dark in here. So yeah, um, let me see uh, some questions what we got here. So what's everyone saying? Everyone have a good day today? Anything crazy going on in the news? I haven't checked the news out. Everything okay in the world? Are we all good? No uh, catastrophes? And the Material Girl video, good call. Beard guy just tried to call me and almost lost the stream. Uh, hey, uh, Neve or 
needles. Let me know if there's like a way to, oh yeah. Is that happening with like the people can call in? Is that, that's not yet, right? You guys working on that? Apparently there's like some new features coming in Meerkat very soon in the near future where people can call in and I can take calls and I can see your face. That is really cool. How long have I been collecting instruments? Since I was like really young, like um, uh, at least 16. My mom was a music teacher back in the day, so I used to like have this obsession with instruments back then. She used to give me instruments all the time. Um, <clears throat> and then when I turned 16, 17, 18, I was just like obsessed with collecting them. So I started collecting them. And I don't know, I just have tons now. It's crazy. I've been collecting them for like a very long time. Check this out, the great people of uh, Marcotti. This is um, a harpeggio. It's a brand new instrument. I encourage you to and search harpeggio videos. Stevie Wonder plays one. Uh, Joel and I are working on a video right now for this instrument. And it's going to be cool. Hello, Savannah from Burlington. We're in Burlington too. How are you? Sound of music's coming up. It's gonna be fun. Oh, look at all the likes. You guys are incredible. Thank you. Um, Sarah was incredible live. Love pregnant rockers. She was did really well on this tour for being that pregnant. She's awesome. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's excited for our new music to come out. It's coming out on, uh, on June 21st. We've been working on this record for... June 16th. Sorry, June 16th. My bad. We've been working on this record for like two years. Um, it's the strongest work we've ever done. We wrote so many songs. And we've spent so much time perfecting the arrangements and everything. And we think you guys are going to like it a lot. And we also have some cool cover videos coming out. We shot a cover video on the road in our tour bus. We wanted to release it this week, but we couldn't. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised. It's like old school, old school Walt Walk Up the Earth. Um, lots of weird instruments, lots of cool little um, interactions between each other with the instruments. It's, it's going to be a really fun one. We can't wait to get it out. Please add Lay Low to the show. <laughs> That's a fun song. We might do that one day. Do you need me to play another part, Joel? Are we missing a run? I'm going to touch the guitar for you. I got I cut together a riff that I think we can maybe try and go back in and re try and nail. But I can also cut this. But I think the, the general idea, if, if you come in with this kind of like Super close, yeah. Super close, man. Beautiful work. It almost sounds like this, still. It's cool, because it's like it should be kind of back and forth thing. And then yeah. we gotta figure out if we're gonna bring them together and battle the two out. Yeah. Where's the Ellen guitar that she gave you guys? Uh, she gave us like five. Mm -hmm. She gave us five um, Fenders, and we um, we uh, donated them to charity. We did like some charity shows, and we like we raised like over like three thousand dollars or something like that um, for breast cancer, because that's one that's close to us. Um, but you know what I do have here that I can show you guys. I'll show you right now. Check this out. This is the Epiphone right here. The Epiphone that we played five people on one guitar. Yes, the video. Video that changed our lives for sure, big time. Um, this is it. It's a it's like a it's like a cheap two hundred dollar guitar. Sounds incredible. I still play it. Um, <clears throat> it's actually Sarah's guitar. Um, yeah, that's the one. That's it. It's pretty cool.
Um, it's not the same one we play live. Um, we play uh, Cole Clark live. You can play, oh, speaking of Champs-Élysées, this is the um, ukulele from the Champs-Élysées video. It's a really fun video. If anyone um, hasn't seen it, go to Waka Fuk, Champs-Élysées. It's French. It's a place in France. We're coming back to France very soon. Uh, I believe we're playing Paris and one other city. Speaking of instruments that are in... If you look up now... That is the guitar. Right there. That's the guitar from the... Um, uh, Gang of Rhythm video. Walk off the Earth. Gang of Rhythm. Search it. That was... Uh, that's one of my favorite videos. That's Giorgio's favorite video by far. Um, it's a fun one. I like that video. <clears throat> So that's, and actually there's really that Sarah plays in the Gang of Rhythm video. Yes. So if you've never seen that one, get going. Get off the stream, go watch it right now. Nice. Sounded good. What else we got here? Here, let me show you guys something. Show you a little something, something. So, the good people of YouTube sent us this plaque one day in the mail. Look, there's me. It's a big, big ass golden. Or volume two. There's volume one. There's Creep Show. There's Walk Up the Earth, My Rock. Which is our second full length. There's Sarah Blackwood, um, her solo record that I produced. That's how we actually met, uh, started first working together. There's Creep Show again. There's another Sarah Blackwood record. There's Smooth Like Stone on a Beach, which was our first full length record. So that was cool. And there's like uh, this really cool thing that. Um, our friends Sony Canada made for us. It says, to commemorate the success of the Columbia Records, Sony Entertainment Music for Revo Gold Album, Red Hands. Red Hands times two platinum digital download. That was cool. Oh, check this out. Fan presents, man. Fan Walk Off the Air fans are so cool, man. You gotta look at stuff. This guy. I think um, his name is Bill. He made us this. This actually, um, this is, I've had this for a long time. It's a skateboard, it's a longboard. And you can actually see it in the end of uh, um, a video that Sarah made. Yeah, so, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that little tour. Right. Smoother than a stone on a beach. The Cheers video, yeah. Hunter Proof Life. Yeah, that was a cool song. Will your set in Brampton be the same as Toronto? Um... It, it'll probably be pretty close. Um, I apologize for that, but there's just there has been no time to uh, rearrange anything. So it's really hard when you know when we're super busy to get everybody in a, a jam space, um, and we like to do things very. We like to be very rehearsed, so it's it's really hard sometimes. Sarah is in Toronto right now. She is um, 
um, working on some stuff that we need to get done for um, all the things that we have coming up, the TV stuff. She's getting us some stuff that we need. Uh, Giorgio is actually at my, at my parents' house right now because they missed him and they wanted to hang out with him for, for the day. The intro to our live show is amazing. Thank you. That was the, the brainchild of Joel, actually. Is that? They said they liked your intro. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. People say it's like, builds the hype. That's the whole point, right? Build the hype, get people excited, get the butterflies in the stomach, you know? <laughs> yeah. Build it up. Mmm. Great. What do you recommend to study guitar? Um, YouTube videos? How long did it take to rehearse to get five people one guitar right? Um, like ten hours of like straight rehearsing. You want the monster guitar? <laughs> you guys deserve all that is happening in your lives right now. That means a lot. Thank you. Appreciate that. Police Navidad, five people, one guitar was awesome. Thanks. You were here at 200. <laughs> Guess only need to collaborate with Weird Al. Oh, I have a Weird Al story. Um, we were in LA, um, like in March, I think, um, finishing the album and stuff like that. And uh, my our manager John. Um, he also manages Pentatonics. I don't know if you guys know that or not. So I've met them a couple times. They're super cool dudes and chick. Um, but they were at the Grammys, so there was an after party, like a like a Sony Music after party, because they're signed to Sony also. Um, and uh, so we went, and then I was with Sarah, and we were just hanging out, and we were like gonna sit down and like eat some like shrimp that they had there, and like drink their beer. Um, and I sat down and then Weird Al and his wife sat down right beside us and we were like sitting at a, like a four person table with Weird Al, Weird Al's wife and me and Sarah. And it was like super weird. And I'm not like the type of person who like talks to famous people. I don't know. I just get really, I just like, I don't know. I don't say hi or like, I'll say hi, but I won't be like, Oh my God, you're Weird Al. So I was just like, Hey man, how's it going? I'm Johnny. And he was like, Hey, how's it going? I'm Al. And then we just sat there and we honestly just ate dinner for like like half an hour or an hour or something and we didn't even talk about anything except for just regular stuff like we didn't talk about how he was weird out it was cool i liked it i appreciate it he's a really good guy and we we're just talking about like normal stuff like we we're talking about like like the hockey game that had just happened or something and like we were talking about how everyone was wearing suits and they looked kind of i don't know pretentious and then I don't know. This is. It was really fun, though. He's a cool guy, and his wife is really nice too. And then we ordered a bottle of wine, and we drank wine. Is his wife named Weird Alice? <laughs> Weird Allison. <laughs> yeah. His and wife. He just won a Grammy too. He's so chill. Yeah, he just won a Grammy. Yeah. And I didn't even. I, I kind of felt bad because I didn't say like congrats on your Grammy, but I didn't want to like be like him to be think that I was just like a weird fan guy or something. Because he is awesome. Weird Al is super incredible, super talented dude, and he's also Canadian, right? So. That was cool. Yeah. Nice. Uh, who made your lyric videos for the album? Um, I directed the Boomerang one. Uh, we co-directed the... Uh, um, the home will go one with a, a friend of ours and yeah we shot the boomerang one on the road it took us uh, like about like a week and a half it was hard to get it was harder than it looks to get all the uh, animation right and stuff June 16th get it right man I know I messed it up earlier today too Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Put the low on, yeah. Your road crew is uh, the best. They are the best. Oh, here's another piece of nostalgia for you. This is the uh, actual ukulele that Sarah's holding in our uh, album picture from, whoops, on the inside of Revo, I believe. We have to, uh, we're going to have to order some food there, Joey. Yeah. Oh no, my phone's about to die. Let's plug her in here. Sorry, guys. Did I, did we burn the color candle I gave you? Oh, I remember that candle. I think I think it's Sarah has it somewhere. We definitely started it. Appreciate that. One of our road crew guys, sound guy, asked my 20-year-old daughter who came to the concert with me in Detroit. Were you, what does that mean? Like with you or with her? Like was he hitting on her or something? <laughs> Never been to a show, but do any G-Spot songs make an appearance? Not yet. Not yet. Um, there's one G-Spot song that we were playing for a bit. Um, I think it's called S Satan Lend Me a Dollar or like Satan's Hookups. So it's called. Am I wrong as well? You know better than me. How can I express my love for Woe? You just did, girl. So is Justin. I'm not sure what that means. Mere welcome. Oh. You could have any superpower, what would it be? Obviously, to have all the superpowers ever, whenever I want them. He sent us a letter from El Salvador. Uh, to where? I'm not sure if we got it. Sarah has a box of um, fan letters that we still have to open, that we're going to open, possibly on a meerkat. Glad to see you guys in San Diego. It was my eight-year-old daughter's first concert. Thanks for introducing us to Scotty Hellman. Oh, I hope she enjoyed her first concert. Scott Hellman is a great, great performer and a great, great dude. We're going to go see him. He's, he's actually opening up for Weezer on, in Saturday in our hometown. Weezer and Collective Soul, remember them? And uh, Finger Eleven. And uh, yeah, we're going to go check that out. Maybe we'll do a little streamy poo. Tell peeps about the Patreon campaign. Oh, um, thanks, Cheryl. Uh, we can do that. Um, so we have this thing called Patreon. It's a it's like a fan funding thing that helps us with our videos. Um, it's really helped us over the last few months. Um, it's 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 allowing us to do some crazy stuff, and like we have some stuff planned that's going to be amazing that we wouldn't be able to do without it because our People think if you have a record deal that you get unlimited amounts of money to do anything, but that's not even close to the case. We get, they give us about uh, two video budgets per album, and we like to shoot 20 videos a year, or like 10 at least. And uh, we also like to do a lot of other things that most regular bands don't do because they don't have the money. And it's hard sometimes to fund projects and do things you want to do. And uh, 
for this thing called Patreon where <clears throat> it allows us to like just be super creative if we want to and like do things that we would never be able to do and we also you know give back to the patrons um, certain rewards so it's kind of like a fan club uh, you can donate one dollar per video <clears throat> up to whatever you want <clears throat> so you would only get charged one dollar if you wanted to every time we put a video out and we're and you can put like a cap on it per month so you can say like I only want to if you if you put like five videos a month, I don't want to pay five dollars. I want to play one dollar, so you can put a cap on it. And uh, so just go to our page. It's, it's www.patreon. P A T R E O N. Patreon. dot com forward slash Walk Off the Earth. And you can get all the information you need right there. There's a little video we made, a little com comedic thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so check that out and uh, join up. And if you just you know, want to donate the bare minimum you still there's still some cool rewards um as you like i think as you like go up there's there's different rewards and stuff um but i know there's a bunch of people on here that are uh, our patrons and it's amazing and we try to like stay super connected with them we do like um private chats and stuff like that how's my little cousin doing i believe you mean my little nephew Miles, he's doing really good. Um, he's really busy acting and stuff. That's his main gig, acting and dancing. Any idea when the Vancouver Instagram photo is going up? I just received the folder with the final ones in it. It took us a long time to edit it. I had to, I had to like uh, hire some people to help me edit them. And I was going to do it today, and then I got distracted. So I could do it tonight or I'm gonna do it early tomorrow morning I'm gonna to upload like five or six of them tomorrow so I'm sure Vancouver will be one of them <clears throat> thanks for your patience on that it was trickier than we thought especially when you're on the road things get backed up really easily because it's really hard to even try to get sleep sometimes I get find the time with or find internet connections that are proper and stuff oopsies Where's P.D. Pablo now? That's a wonderful question. P.D. Pablo is um, in, somewhere in this town. I still talk to him. I hang out with him a lot. Actually, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, but he's uh, he decided that um, he wanted to take over his, his dad's business and move on from music, which is what he needed to do in his life. So that's great for him. Oh, look who's here. Look who it is! Oh, look who it is! <laughs> um, awesome. Okay, cool. So, yeah, She's on the phone. Do a Reddit AMA for promotion. We've been thinking about doing that, but we haven't done it. But we should probably do that. What did you make for dinner? Uh, we're gonna order some food. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pregnant. I've been shopping all day. Don't put me on the TV. <laughs> Sarah doesn't want to be on the TV. <laughs> I'm stuck over here right now because my phone's about to die. Thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll probably uh, we'll probably cut the feed pretty soon, but feed her. Did you get my email though? Yeah. Pink belly. What? Oh, I'm just talking to someone. Good call. You know, did your research? That was a wicked band, man. Marshall's old band, Pink Belly, and and P. Pablo. Great songs. Oh, sorry, I'll put the Patreon link in for you guys. Here we go. www.patreon.com forward slash There you go, guys. I, I posted... Um, 
I posted. You know what we could do is like one person can say one word and then like the next person, like if we just have like pre, pre. Yeah, I mean, it's just you need people that are good at speaking weirdly because the idea is good. Human kebab's good. Human kebab's good. Uh, What's up with beer guy's brother? He just doesn't want to do it. Like I'm pretty sure it's an ego thing. Yeah, he's a he's kind of. He's a little weird like that. Can you guys help me bring some bags here? Yeah. I've been at the mall for 11 hours, okay? Wait, <laughs> You're so stuffy right now. Okay, we gotta go help bring bags in. Have you performed a live show with Korean Effects? Yeah, he, he uh, toured with us in Europe last year or two years ago. And uh, we've done like Toronto with him. We've done a bunch of shows with him. We've done uh, our version of I Knew You Were Trouble with, it, uh, with him. Where did the name of our group come from? came from our brain um, no it's walk off the earth it just uh... I'm gonna lose the uh, the Wi-Fi if I go all the way down oh, no. why are you so many bags because you are can only come halfway for some reason <laughs> okay I'm gonna leave you guys inside one sec I gotta go help Sarah put you guys right here So um, Sarah just got back from the mall because we're. Um, she decided that she's going to be our stylist for the MMVAs red carpet. Um, so she got a budget from our peeps at Sony Canada, and she went shopping for like 15 hours. And she has all the shoes and clothes and stuff that we're going to try on. And then we're going to take back the stuff that we don't want. Am I bringing this down, Sarah? So, we have a pretty crazy idea. I'm not going to give it away, but we have this like weird, really weird idea uh, for our entrance. Because if you ever watch the MMBAs, all the bands do something kind of weird. So we thought we'd do something that no one's ever done. And it's going to be hilarious. It's going to be really funny. Yeah, successful shot. I don't know if it's successful. We'll find out. Do a fashion show. Girl knows how to shop. Johnny, you're an amazing meerkatter. Oh, thanks, Needle. I, I think the same about you, buddy. I try. You guys gotta go check out Needles. He does like wicked uh, product hunt reviews and uh, a lot of tech, new tech toys that come out he talks about them and it's very interesting stuff if that's what you're into any names for the baby yet no names yet yeah we gotta order some thai food man yeah, you got your phone is that it? they didn't have any um, small shirts still yeah no, oh, okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up because we're going to get some food and get back to the studio stuff and try on some of this stuff that Sarah grabbed. Mm -hmm. So um, thanks a lot for hanging. It's amazing. For Don't forget that we're playing on June 21st at the Much Music uh, 
Video Awards. Make sure you tune in. Tune in to the Today Show on our album release day, which is June 16th. If you haven't picked up our album yet, go to iTunes.com and pre-order it, and you can get four songs. Four songs from the new album. If you're watching from Europe, which you're probably not because you're probably sleeping, we're coming there in October. Um, then we're playing more shows across America after that. And then we're going to be in Australia and maybe South America and everywhere, everywhere around the world. Um, so make sure you check us out if you don't know who we are and you're just tuned in. Um, walk Off the Earth. Just Walk Off the Earth. Google it. Um, and have a wonderful night. Thank you for hanging with us. Connecting. We love you. Peace in. Say bye. Bye.